Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and I'm streaming live once again. Actually, when I say once again, I mean again today, one more time. I did a live video a few minutes ago unboxing the iPhone 8 Plus, and now I'm going to be unboxing what I showed you in that video, the Apple TV 4K, my very first 4K device. Now, the only reason I got this wasn't because I'm addicted to gadgets. I'm not. I actually appreciate having fewer gadgets around me. Uh... I got this because I have a 4K TV. I've had a 4K TV for a few years now. I did a, a review of an LG 4K TV that had a firmware update for HDR video as well. So this is really the first time I'm going to be experiencing 4K video. Yes, I probably could have done it with some other gadget, but I didn't really feel the need, uh, honestly. Um, you know, my family does use the Apple TV. We do use Apple products. We use other products in our life as well. But uh, this is going to be uh, an experiment. I'm going to see how well this compares potentially to what Google may uh, announce uh, in an upcoming uh, 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 well, I guess, keynote presentation here, uh, I guess, a few weeks from now. Uh, Wing Dang uh, says, hope this helps you out, bro. Thank you so much for your support. You've been a, a patron of mine on chrisperillo.com for years, uh, and now you just uh, super chatted. Thank you. Super chat's pretty neat. Never never really tried that before. So I'm going to do my best to slice through the packaging without damaging everything. Uh, let's see here. I, I should probably look at the specs, huh? That's what everybody cares about, right? I got the 32 gig version. That's that's the small one, right? You have to stream the 4K videos anyway. Where, where are you going to keep them? Uh, all right, yeah, 4K HDR, which I'm going to be able to watch. I'm going to be able to enjoy. Unless, of course, it's a Disney movie. Because Disney is going to be uh, launching their own streaming service at some point in the uh, very near future. And with that, uh, they're probably going to be pushing all their value into the... Uh, uh, the into their own service. Why would they? Why would they uh, specifically push into somebody else's service or somebody else's platform when they can drive more eyeballs and attention to their own? That totally makes sense to me. Sorry, just checking something here. We're good. Let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Oh, I should check. Box fart. Box fart. Another silent but deadly. Okay. I do hold on to the boxes just in case because I'll probably end up selling it at some point in the future. These things are not valuable forever. Pretty thick, pretty heavy. It uh, doesn't really look or feel any different from uh, the other Apple TVs. Uh, sizable, definitely sizable. Uh, but the processor in here should be more than ample uh, to not just handle that, but everything else. Another difference between this and earlier iterations of Apple TV include the lack of cellophane around it. I just removed uh, I also appreciate this level of detail to keep you from scratching and scuffing it. Not that I would expect an Apple TV to see a lot of action. Uh, but the USB-C port on the back is missing. So now you basically have a place to plug in your power cable. You also have your HDMI uh, adapter and e e uh, a gigabit Ethernet uh, cable in case you are, you know, addicted to cables. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm the type of person that tries to remove as many cables from his life as he possibly can. So I will be plugging this in later. I don't know what my first 4K movie is going to be. I haven't seen Wonder Woman yet. I don't know if I want to buy it. I don't see any 4K movies that I want to buy. I've already bought all the Star Wars movies. I'm good. So I, I don't know. I, I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, Netflix has also been updated to support 4K, so maybe I'll just watch my first movie on Netflix. There must be something new on Netflix that I haven't watched yet. Ooh, uh, Luke Cage I haven't seen, and I think that's in 4K. Uh, another nice addition to uh, this lineup. Originally, I was a little put off by it, but I, I really like that this uh, particular design of the, the remote control. I mean, it's, it's got just about everything that you might need, including the ability to reprogram uh, this button, if you didn't know. Uh, but because there have been times that I've picked up the controller and not known which uh, side to use, uh, you now have a, a, an indicator where uh, you can feel, and there's this, uh, I guess, a, a what would you call that? A protruding bezel, dare I say? Uh, you know, uh, an element around the button there, the, the, the menu button. So you get a better idea by feel, not just by look. You see how it's circled in white. Uh, better feel for where that button is. So if you're watching in the dark, you're feeling in the dark, you don't necessarily have to look at something. You know intuitively where that particular uh, point of the control is. So that is a nice addition uh, to this array of Apple TVs. And then in the rest of the box, I assume we have a power cable. There's a protector, I guess. But inside, look at this, look at this. There we go. It says Apple TV right through there. 
Uh, here's a question. Adam asks, Chris, why are you such an Apple hater? I'm not an Apple hater. I addressed this in the, uh, the unboxing a few minutes ago. You may not have been able to see it yet, but, uh, I say the things I say because we deserve better, better products. Apple has done better. I think they're phoning it in, uh, in so many ways with, uh, software quality or lack thereof, as well as industrial design, taking over the design of the software and experience outright. So I don't hate Apple. Um, I, believe that to be able to push forward in hoping for better experiences and as well as give you more informed opinions, I have to stay objective. And in staying objective, it's trying devices that I may find suitable for my lifestyle. I don't just go out and buy any device willy-nilly. I can't, A, I can't afford that. B, I wouldn't have the space for it. C, I don't want that. So if I'm going to get other devices uh, that I don't see working themselves into uh, daily routines or regular routines, I'm going to have to find a different means and mechanism. Though I do appreciate the, the patronage and the support on uh, chrisperillo.com. And Jamie Lingerfeld. Hey, Jamie. I've been seeing your comments a lot over the past few days. He says, hello from North Carolina. May the force be with you and you as well. I'm getting through all of this, honestly, uh, just so that I can get to unboxing this on the Star Wars Radar community channel. we got like 48,000 Star Wars fans on Twitter for that account. We've got the power cable. Looks a lot like the old power cable. In fact, I may just swap out uh, the box for another box to keep the power cable in place where I have it set up uh, in the uh, in the bedroom. That's our only 4K TV. Uh, that's that's all we really need at this point. I you know I see the difference between uh, 720p and uh, 1080p. Absolutely, I do. But we still have 720p HD TVs and we're fine. The 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 the, the uh, computer television in this uh, room, the Play Shop. Uh, has got an old version of Android TV when they were trying it. And it hasn't been updated in years because Google gave up on it. That's what Google does. Google gives up on its products so quickly. It's just what they do. So um, I don't have 4K on the screen in here. Most of the viewing would be happening in the bedroom anyway where the whole family can relax and watch something together. Uh, the, what I ask is, how good can I see Frasier? Like, I think Frasier topped out at 720p. Maybe it went 1080p. Frasier. I watch my Frasier reruns. I'm good to go. Is Frasier in 4K? That's my question. So I'm not going to run out, nor would I re recommend anybody else running out and getting this unless, A, you have a 4K experience um, already. B, you're planning on getting one, and at which point I would say get this in lockstep um, the, like with it. It's going to be an additional cost. Uh, C, you're not already served well by the things that you have today. So you've got to consider all those things before you rushing, rush out and get something that you may not need because something else works just as well as, as, as what you already have. Uh, now, Bird203, who was a super chatter in the uh, the earlier broadcast, says uh, 4K is so you, at large screen, is zoomed in in great t detail. No doubt about it. The detail 4K video is astounding. It is absolutely stellar, breathtaking. Will I enjoy it more? I don't know. That's what I can't answer because I genuinely do not know the answer to that question. So I, I will end up giving a review of this in, in my feelings of 4K. It'll be my, really one of my first 4K TV experiences outright. I haven't seen 4K content, to my knowledge, on that uh, TV. I could be wrong. Or if I, if I did, I couldn't tell you the difference. I'm not a visual file. I'm definitely not an audio file. Uh, but do have to thank uh, IGNIZ, uh, who just uh, became a super chatter. Thank you so much for that. There's, there's got to be a better way... Of labeling it, but I think that's what the that's what YouTube calls it, right? They call it like super chat, super chat. So I can see your comment because everything else kind of gets flooded out. Um, so there we go. That's the unboxing of the Apple TV. Uh, now I need to kind of move on. I'll, I'll see if we've got any other uh, questions in relation to this. Um, the oh, here's a good one. Uh, MK and I'm going to address this one and then start wrapping it up potentially, unless another good question comes in. I remember you were making the criticism of the big iPhone when it first came. Not to this level. Uh, later, you use a Plus now. Now, are you making the same with the iPhone 10? Later, you probably use it. That's what people are saying. This is the It's a conspiracy that Chris is just doing this. Uh, no, I don't want that. I don't need that in my life. Uh, I don't want everything that the software design within the iPhone 10 is. It's not so much even the hardware inclusion, this monstrosity now known as affectionately as the notch, it's how the software wraps around this hardware shortcoming that Apple could mitigate it in software. But it's never been about Apple can fix it in software. I mean, Apple can fix anything in software. They don't because they don't see it as a problem. I'm telling you, I'm sitting here telling you right now, again, Apple's doing the notch 
not because it can't cover it up. They're not doing the cover up. Be the cover up. It's not a conspiracy cover up. Uh, they're not covering up the notch because they're. It's a branding exercise. So you can look at an iPhone 10 and say, "Wow, that's an iPhone. This person must be, you know, well to do, or this person has taste in in devices." I would question that. I don't want that. That it's just not something I'm, I'm well served enough on an iOS experience right now on this. I'm debating whether or not I'm going to be getting rid of my iPad Pro. So it's it's it's. It, this is really, it's been a push. Like, I'm just, I'm really appalled at this decision by Apple. I'm not the only one. Um, you know, there are many things Apple does well, and there are many things Apple doesn't do well. So if you want me to remain objective, you have to accept this. Uh, this is going to be criticism. I am a critic. It's kind of what I do. Partially what I do. Mostly what I do. Um, doesn't mean I'm always right either. Uh, but I have no intention on getting the 10. None whatsoever. In fact, if I have the budget for a 10... My plan is to spend that money on a Google Pixel uh, uh, 2 XL. That's, honestly, that's my goal. Uh, and if anything, then I become even more balanced and, and, and more objective with, with providing experiences so that I'm not in one camp. For years, I've been seen as just being in one camp. You have to be in my camp or nobody's, right? You have to be Android or you have to be iOS. You can't be both. You have to be Windows or you have to be Mac OS X. You can't be both, but you can. And I'm sitting here telling you I've never wanted that more in my entire life because I see the state of the consumer electronics industry to be in question. I have a great degree of concern with um, so many things, including the Internet of Things, which I think is just Internet of crap. I, I've i learned to slim down. I, I'm a tech minimalist, honestly. I'm not going to be the best tech person out there for you if, if you just lust after every single gadget that comes out. I don't. It's not me. I'm, I'm going to be different in every way, shape, and form. To me, the, the value of this hardware and this hardware are worthless. I don't care. I mean, yes, they are well-designed, but so many other things are well-designed. I care about the software experience. It's the only thing that matters. Why? Because you know how I use this Apple TV? Like this. Can you see it? No. You know, can I? Can I see the Apple TV when I'm using it? No. What do I see? I see the software experience. I've always been a software guy. Always. So, okay, okay, time for the viewer observations on the Apple TV 4K. I will move on to it. Thank you, everybody, for uh, for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Roku Jones just super chatted, so I can't close it. I got to pay attention to everybody who's tuned in. I really appreciate the live interactivity. I love it. Uh, Roku Jones. Chris, what do you think about the recent Star Trek? I am so excited. I'm so excited. I know I'm saying it as a Star Wars fan, but you don't have to be one or the other. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for a high-quality Star Trek to come out. I love Deep Space Nine. Really appreciated Voyager. In my early days of Locker Room back in the mid-90s, when I was talking about software in the Locker Room email newsletter that still exists, uh, I was watching Voyager in the background. I loved it. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Uh, I've also been watching The Orville. It's different, but I just I appreciate it. It's campy. Um, I like it. I like The Orville. I've always liked those types of shows. So I'm very much looking forward to uh, Star Trek, but as you know... Later today, in, in another channel, uh, I'm going to be uh, unboxing the uh, Executioner Trooper from, uh, uh, well, Hot Toys, but uh, sent to me by Sideshow Collectibles. Um, that's that that's that's how it works for me. I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle. I'm not one or the other. Some people have a problem with that. But you know what? They don't know me. If, if you don't know me, you, you don't know me. That's the thing. Ah, I can't be everybody else. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap it up, though I do think that there are some fantastic questions that are a little off topic of, of, of the Apple TV and entertainment experience in general. Uh, but I will I will mention this. Uh, let's see here. I bought an Apple TV and I don't use it. See what I'm saying? If you don't use it, why'd you buy it? Because you thought you wanted to use it, but you're not using it. Do you feel me? Do you feel me? By the way, thank you, Michael Larson, uh, for the last uh, super chat uh, in uh, in the, uh, the iPhone. Uh, uh, I almost said 10 again. God, that's a horrible mistake to make. Uh, the iPhone 8 Plus unboxing uh, video. Really appreciate your support over the years. Uh, I love you. I appreciate you. And may the force be with you.